On Sunday, Virgin Hyperloop tested human travel in a Hyperloop pod for the first time. It's happening. The tube technology is happening. And it's not like they just pulled some people off the nearest Vegas street corner. Virgin Hyperloop co-founder and CTO Josh Geigel and Sarah Lukian, director of passenger experience, became the first people in the world to ride in Hyperloop's newly unveiled XP2 vehicle, also known as the Pegasus Pod. It was a combination of fear, exhilaration, followed by jubilation, and an awkward fist bump. The XP2 is a custom-built pod designed for occupant safety and comfort. The production vehicle will seat up to 28 passengers, but for the test, they rode in a two-seater. During the test, the pod only reached 100 miles per hour. While it plans to achieve speeds up to 600 miles per hour, the company says its 500 meter dev loop test track in Las Vegas is too short to reach top speeds. The XP2 demonstrator includes many of the safety critical systems that will be found on a commercial Hyperloop system. For example, it's equipped with state of the art controls that can detect off nominal states and rapidly trigger emergency responses. Off nominal states? That's. That means things are bad. Virgin Hyperloop is closing out 2020 with a bang. Just last month, the company named West Virginia as the location for the Hyperloop Certification Center. The HCC will be a six mile, $500 million test facility. Though, according to CNN, the company is still trying to raise funds for the endeavor. While the company hopes to see Hyperloop by the end of the decade, the test this weekend caused Geigel to reflect on the company's start just six years ago in a garage. We wanted to, quote, transform the way people move. This weekend, they took a giant leap toward that ultimate dream. 